Good morning, good morning, good morning. What a day yesterday. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Things are moving again. ISRG was showing 358 in the morning. Avago trying to get through. Does Avago go? If it gets through, it really, really flies. Uh, wow, wow, wow. This land research, when does it go? It's setting up nicely. Uh, Adobe's trying to run. Carvana, we got in and out very nicely. Shop trying to finally take out the 66, 67 area. Can probably run to 73, 75. Microsoft got another 410 target on it. It's trying to run. And, okay, so here's what we got. So on the 14th, which is tomorrow, you're going to get the news. I told you, the NASDAQ is, 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 I mean, this is the most crooked shit I ever see. I mean, this is just bullshit crooked, okay? Very, very straightforward. So they say they're going to take uh, the NASDAQ stocks lower, those seven. But they never put out how much, how many shares, and how much percentage-wise. Well, they're going to release that tomorrow. And they're going to release it, and there's been all this speculation. So let's say the NASDAQ index is going to sell 1,000 shares of Microsoft. Just going to make this up. Are they going to buy, and say that's 1%. Are they going to buy ISRG with that money? Are they going to put that into one other NASDAQ stock? Okay? So that is going to come out tomorrow. I don't know what time. Okay? But that's going to dictate what happens. But then it doesn't go into effect till the following Monday. Not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. So for a week. Now, here's the thing that's flaky. And this is why people lose money. This is why... Brokers at Goldman Sachs and all that, they're just dumb. Okay? Everybody puts Goldman Sachs, well, this isn't a big deal. This is happening. You don't know. So let's say they're going to go sell 2% Microsoft. And let's say Mike runs a hedge fund that has a shitload of Microsoft. Okay? And say his fund, and I have no idea. I'm just making stuff up, has has. Five million shares of Microsoft. So maybe, let's say he has 20 million shares of Microsoft. These guys have a lot of money. So say he has to sell 2% of it. So that's what, 400,000? 40,000? 40,000, whatever it is. So we don't know what that fund is going to do. You don't know. the fund. Look, this, this, don't believe everything you see. I've told you this before. Just because somebody says there's oh there's 80 million shares of Microsoft to sh sell or 80,000 shares or 80 million shares, you don't know if that's true. You don't know if they're going to do it, and you don't know when they're going to do it. Okay? Maybe this fund says, well, everybody's going to sell it, but they're going to buy it back the next day. I'm just going to hold it. Maybe that's what they do. So you don't really know what's going to happen. Okay, today you got PPI coming in, what, four or five minutes, and that's going to move the market again, too. So those SPXs we bought, 4,500s, those are sitting at five, so you're positive on those. Now, everything is up, and, and then we see, and then we see. What I know is NVIDIA is finally breaking up again. Now, NVIDIA is one of these ones that are going to sell. So do, do they take it up to 460, 470, and then take it down to 450? Maybe. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay? Uh, SMCI continues to go. looks like 300. Goldman Sachs. JP Morgan has earnings tomorrow. If the earnings are good, we'll probably drive Goldman Sachs up three, four, five dollars But it's not about the earnings being good. It's about, it's about the guide. If they come out and say things are getting really better out there, Jamie Dimon said, hurricane. What if this time he says, oh, it's clear skies. How far does it go? Then we see, then we see, then we see. Microsoft's got this huge upgrade today, so keep an eye on that one. Tesla, all about 279 Now, I know some of you guys, you get an itch, you get an itch, you got an itch, and, and you keep buying Tesla, and you keep buying. Look, it needs to get through 279 
That's it. It really is that simple. <clears throat> end phase. Look at end phase. We have the 175s that are going on nine, ten dollars. It's going to rip. It's trying to go 221. If it goes, then we see. Then we see. Then we see. Look. Okay. Then back to land research. Land research is going to go huge. I just don't know when. Maybe this week. Maybe next week. Maybe in three weeks. But land research is going to go to 800, 900. Memory in the next two years is going to be one of the biggest things ever. When does it happen? Don't know. Look, don't buy stuff if you're not expecting zero. Okay? Don't do that. Okay? Avago. Avago just keeps trying to get going, going, going. We sold those at 11. Two to 11. I got a guy posted on public Twitter, my Avago went down 17%. 17% from $2. That's 30 cents. 35 cents. He lost 35 cents and he's, he's about to shit his pants. Guys, expect zero. And then it went from 2 to 12. It went up 600%. I'm pretty sure he's failed. I'm pretty sure he's failed. Don't do this. Okay, I'm ranting because of the PPI. <laughs> okay, hold on. I get, it, I get Hold on a second. I got to set this order up. I have not set this order up because I don't know if we get through 4,500, but we can get there. Uh, regular session. Come on, sell the clothes. Sell the clothes, 50 uh, limit. I would love to take 10. 10 would be good. I'm good with 10. 10 would be good, okay? Uh, <laughs> and then roll the tomorrow. Uh, and roll to tomorrow. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's go look here. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's what we know. That's what we know. That's what we know, okay? The market is doing great. We are doing great. But you can only do great if you don't lie to yourself. Now, Microsoft, there's a number on Microsoft, 343. If it gets to 343, it's going to be like this NVIDIA and really, really fly. Okay? Then we see, then we see, then we see. The PPI doesn't mean that much. But here's the thing. The, because the P, why does the PPI not mean too much? Because when the PPI, if, it, if, if the producer, the guy that makes the eggs, yes, the chickens, if he decides to, to sell them, uh, he, he goes from his price from $3 to $2. doesn't mean that Walmart has to lower the price to $2. That's why it doesn't mean as much. But it means that over time, other people that buy from him will lower the price. And then other places like Walmart would have to lower the price. Okay? Okay. Hope you learned something today. Uh, give me two minutes as soon as we – a minute, minute and a half. Uh, Palo Alto Networks moving back up. Okay, moving back up. Microsoft uh, has a competing product. That's why it went up. Okay, it went down. That's why it went down. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Uh, look at Carvana drop. How perfect was that? Look, I told you guys, Carvana, I told you right after we're, we're about to sell it, that they, they have to do a secondary. That means it must be coming. Let this sucker go down, then we'll go buy back for next week or the week after. Okay. But here's the thing on Carvana, if you guys listen. They said in the CPI, car prices came down. If car prices come down, why would Carvana make more money? Pretty simple, right? Don't overthink, don't overthink, don't overthink. Uh, come on. They're going to keep talking to this guy, and they're not going to give us the PPI. Does somebody have the PPI? Uh, if somebody has the PPI, type it in. Let me go to the chat room here. Not logged in there. Uh, I believe it's coming, right? PPI, yeah. Google updates policies on open new ways to transact blockchain. Iger open to unloading TV assets. Sam might be listening. Absolutely, Sam's listening. Trade desk to join NASDAQ. Oh, July 17th. TTD may rip. TTD may rip. Uh, PPI breaking. PPI actual... 0.1, forecast 0.4. Wow. That's kind of a good one. Falls to point low, below 
fourth core. Point one, that's bullish. Let's see if SPX can rip. That's what we know. That's what we know. Okay, let's get going. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's 713. Stocks go up. Stocks go down. Look, the market wants to go up. Where does it go? The NASDAQ is keeping part of it down, but there's a rotation. From certain NASDAQ stocks to other stocks, that number comes tomorrow. We'll talk about it once we find out when that is. Okay? SPX 4, it's up, what, 16? Is that what it was? Let me look. Yeah, 16. Uh, that puts it at 44.88. Yeah, at 4,500. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay? Do we break through? If we do, 45.21. Okay? Back down, 44.52. Avago, a little bit better, 903, 917, 922. If it breaks 922, it goes nuts. If it doesn't, it goes right back down. They're expecting the deal uh, decision over the weekend. We've already heard that they're expecting it. NVIDIA, 446, 451. Lamb Research, 632, 652. CMG, 2122. Meta, wow, what a move on Meta. It broke 300, never revisited. Flying, 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 319, 331. Shopalicious, 67, 68, 70, 72. UPST, wow, wow, wow. Our Septembers are looking very nicely, 47, 51. Bobalicious, going, going, going. China going to add stimulus, 96, 98. Snowman moving up three, 176, 182, MDB, 409, 422, Carvana, 33 down, 39 up, Adobe, 511, 517, 522, Coin, 91, ISRG, 358, Netflix, 452, MicroStrategy, 431, whew, okay. SCMI, 282, 291. NOW, 572, 591. Amazon, 133, 136. Breakout. Goldman Sachs, 333, 339. Microsoft, 343 is so big, so massive, so hard that if it breaks, it goes nuts. Tesla, 279. Enphase, 192. Whew. Comments, questions, PPI is point one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Everybody have a great train day. See you in chat. Wow. <laughs>